Hey guys, how you doing? Seen uh, I posted a video a couple days ago. It's getting some traction, getting some views of me shooting the, this thing right here. It's the Black Hunter Longbow. And you know, it's getting some views, getting some traction, so I figured I'd do a uh, review on this puppy since I've had it for two years. A um, little bit about it. It's a um, 28 inch bow at 40 pounds. Kind of feels, I don't know. I don't know if it's at 40 pounds or not, but we're gonna, we're gonna check her today. I went and bought this off Amazon as well. <laughs> so we're gonna check this bow out. See if it's at 40 pounds. How she shoots, I've had it for two years. See what I think about it. Cause two years ago, I only paid $100 for this thing. And does it stack up against anything else I've shot? Let's find out. We are checking the poundage on my Black Hunter longbow here. We're gonna see how uh, stout, or if it's right on the money, or if it's low um, on the poundage here. All right. Oof. 41.8 there. You see it? 41.8. Okay, we're going to do it again. Forty-one point seven. Forty-one point. Eight. All right, so about 41 pound bow, 40 pounds. So I ordered a 40, sent me a 40 pound bow. I did a little twisting on the string a little bit just to get to, just get to my uh, my length here on the riser and the string. I like it about seven inch brace. So that's probably where the extra pound come from. Um, let's go shoot this thing because it's. It shoots, it's a nice shooter. Let's go. We're just gonna throw a couple arrows. Get you to looking at it here and all that good fancy stuff. So we're roughly 10, 15 yards. Yeah, something like that. So I'm just gonna throw a couple arrows, show you how quiet this thing is. And it's just awesomeness. So. Little right. But we can correct that. Oh, I hit my sleeve. Bullseye. <sighs> Hit my sleeve on that one. A little low.
gotta get me dialed in here so I know where I'm aiming. Here we go. Ha. There it is. There she be. Ain't too bad of a group right there. Zoom uses in. Aiming for that bottom right uh, circle on that bag here. See if I can do it. That one kind of flew a little funny. I hit my uh, hit the old arm there on my hoodie. Is that a good group at 20, 15 yards? Let's go find out, come on. Y'all knew that? Y'all knew I shot that good. What did he tell me? All right, people. Let's sit down and have a talk about the Black Hunter Longbow. Okay? I've had this thing for two years. Limbs have never split on me. No delamination of the limbs. Um, the only problem that I ever had with it was the string. String's junk. As soon as you get it, throw that string out, put you uh, a better string. I don't care what your preference is on strings. Put a better string on it, 100%, and then put you some silencers on it. I mean, that's the only problem I've ever had out of this bow is the string. Don't like them. Noisy. The twang, they twang too much. It's twang, like a boing, you know what I mean? Ain't good for the, ain't good. Um, for a budget bow, hard to beat 100% hard to beat um, like I said I only spent a hundred dollars on this thing a couple years ago on Amazon um, psh, shoots great um, smooth uh, it's all well all the way around just a uh, well-built bow I mean I didn't get into the tailoring of it or nothing, but just as you get it, it's hard to beat. I mean, it's hard to beat. I mean, if you're a, a boy, bowyer or whatever, I mean, you could fix the limbs of the tailoring. I mean, you could fix it. It ain't hard. What went hard for you, not for me. I don't know nothing about tailoring bows. But for you bowyers, it wouldn't be hard at all to get this sucker back to a square on the old tiller tree there but uh other than that this bow is hard to beat to get in, into traditional archery you ain't got to spend a lot of money 
you buy this bow, you buy some crappy arrows that you don't want to, don't matter if you lose or not, they're, they're just arrows you spent a couple bucks on, you can get those on Amazon, I'll do a video on that next, if I had the time, but I'll do a video on that, I bought some Amazon arrows when I bought this bow right here, and I still got them, I don't got all six, but I got four of them, they ain't too bad. But I'll do the, I'll do a video on that too. But uh, buy you some junk arrows on Amazon that you, I mean you ain't gonna spin an arm and a leg on this stuff. Um, but yeah, this bow has served me well. I've shot a couple deer with it. I'll put those in the in the little video here when I get uh, editing it. This sucker. But uh, yeah, if you want to get in a traditional archery, this. Right here is the ticket. Used to be the, uh, what was that? The uh, Samic Sage. That used to be a good hot ticket item a uh, while back. Just getting into traditional archery and stuff. That was a good bow. But this ain't as bulky. Nice and sleek. I love this bow. This bow is great bow. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this bow. Is it functional? 100%. Shoots pretty well? 100%. Uh, smooth? Draw? Smooth release? Yes. It's got a little vibration on it, but not terribly. Um, but yeah, if you're looking to get into archery, traditional archery, the Black Hunter, you can't beat this bow. Cannot beat it. For the price you're buying for, you're paying for um, how fast to get it. I got this, if I remember right, I only got this bow in a couple days on Am off Amazon. Um, wasn't a long, I didn't, wasn't waiting a long time for it. I think a couple days and I got it. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking to get in a traditional, don't second guess. Buy this Black Hunter. Shoot it, either the recurve or the longbow. Either whatever your preference is, they got it. And that's another thing. You can take this riser. I can take this riser. I can take these limbs off right here, right? I could buy $60 limbs of a recurve and they bolt right up to this sucker. I got two bows for the price of under the price of a uh, real good bear or anything. I mean, that's hard to beat. That's my take on it, guys. Um, did a little thing down there on the uh, comments on the old little keyboard there. Type, type away. Comment. Well, what do you guys think of the Black Hunter? For sure, because I've had nothing but good experiences. I've seen some experiences on the uh, old interweb there on some forums and stuff that they're having problems with delamination on the limbs and stuff, but I haven't. Um, I mean, all in all, it's a functional bow. Uh, so yeah, go down there, hit that comment, typey, typey on the old keyboard there, and, uh, let me know if you guys had any good or bad experiences with the Black Hunter. Um, and then go a little, do that like button there, down there, and, uh, click that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, because I got some more videos coming. Stay, stay along, bud. Stay with me. We're, we got some more coming for you. So I'm out of here.